In this video, we will add low HP effect to our screen. So let's get started. In this video, I will use already created this widget UI. I will link tutorial, my tutorial uh, in the description of this video. So this is custom widget for just Hunt controller. So then we can get our HP shield and avatar information. So in here, I will add, so instead of using post-processing, I will add this effect to our screen. So this could be post-processing, but it's really easy to do this with a screen. So let's quickly do this. So let's create material. Let's maybe call it low HP effect. So user interface and then translucent. And nothing else in here. Okay. Let's add texture sample. Then in here, we will look for noise. This will do. Then to make it tile properly on any screen, we can grab this screen position. And in here we have a viewport UV. So then here we can multiply it with our just um, noise size or tiling. Let's set maybe 1.2 by default. We will see how that will look. And this into UVs. Of course, that could be animated if you want, let's say with a panner, because this is not a complex something. This is still this. Um, Vector 2, this is not something like 3D, so you could uh, do this like that. And let's say if set it to 1, you can see that in the, in the texture it's moving. But I'm not doing that, so it will be just static effect. So feel free, build on top of that. Okay, so we have this, then I will use box mask 2D. Because what I want to do is basically create around yeah our screen this like effect sometimes we see in uh, some games like red you could add red you could add maybe dark or something right it doesn't need to be red and we will mask it and then invert this mask so because this mask will create here in the center so let's preview this and now we will add so we need screen UVs into a and you can see straight away that we have this. So then we will invert, so then our borders will be white. Okay, so let's have vector two, then 0 0.5, 0 0.5, so this is our center. Pretty much will stay in the center, no matter of what. Okay, then we will get another one, and this will be for the size. Then I will set it to 0 0.8, 0 .8, 0 0.8. With a 1, it should cover whole screen. So then with a 0 0.8, it will create this uh, small border around. And we have edge falloff. So this will be small number as well. So default one, it's 1. I will set it to 0 0.2. Like that. So we can even connect it in here. Let's maybe try. So... Just for preview, I will switch to surface, but we still need user interface. And here it's a plane. Let's see, will it show me in here? Doesn't want, yeah, because uh, this one, it's a screen position. Yeah, okay, let's put it back on user interface. We will see on the screen just in a second. Okay, so I have that. Let's invert. Okay, now we need multiply. And this will be our value. So we will grab same value with um, our HP from uh, our this uh, widget UI. So we have there our HP and our maximum HP. So we will do same here. So we have progress and we have progress max. So this will be current HP and it will be maximum HP. By default, I will set this to 100. And we need to divide one by another. Because doing this, 
it will create between zero and one. Okay. Then we have this. Then because when this is hundred and this is hundred, it will make one. So then it means it will reveal that. But because this is red and we won't reveal it when our HP is lower, not on a hundred percent. So we need invert this with one minus. Here I will create the root node. The HP status. It could be like this or it could be like that. It doesn't matter. Okay. Now, why I created this root node? I want to a little bit increase intensity of the mask. And in here, I will create noise intensity and set it, let's say, to free. But if I will set it to free, let's do this for now. And I will show why I need the, then that. And then let's combine this together like that. Okay. So this goes into opacity. And then into color, we just add color. It doesn't need to be a parameter because we're not changing that later. Maybe you want, then up to you. Okay, like that. Interesting that's not no oh, yeah. Yeah, it should update. Yeah, interesting. Let's see. Let's now create in a widget. So here is our widget. Oh wait a second. Oh there you go. I just needed scroll. Yeah, so now we see this. Of course, it's not what I said it will be, but it's actually on the screen it will work. I don't know why in this preview it's not working so well. But at least we can see how it works. So now let's say if I will set it to 80, see, we still see this red. And I don't want that, right? It's 80 is still fine. And in fit, it's really bright. So I would need to lower that. But I want to free because when it's really low, I want it to be really bright. That's why I will use this because this will give me between zero and one. So on a larger number, this number will be really small. And I will control this intensity with that. So I will multiply it with uh, this root, so HP status, and then connect it into multiply. And you can see that now intensity lower it. But then lower our HP will be, brighter it will be. So when it will be really close to zero, to zero, because this one is inverted, so now it will go to one. So then it will use full this number, like three. So for example, on 80, it's not visible. Then on 10, it's really visible. Yeah, let's set default 100. Okay, and we've done with here. So with um, inside of the widget, let's just drop image like that. So let's put it in there. And it will be low HP effect and just perfect will be image. Okay. Now here I will create material instance and add it here. Now, as that image, I will set it to full and center, and then set everything to zero. So you see, it covers everything. And no matter of screen ratio, it will always fall a uh, cover of that full screen. Okay, now when we have that, let's do binding. Let's collapse everything. Now, yeah, let's select this low. A low HP effect. Now click on this. So in here we need brush. Then we need scatter parameter because we have already our material imported with this one. We then import material that we don't need. So we have this. Then we need precise uh, parameter. This uh, name. 
So it's uh, this, so progress. And then the next one will be progress max. If something won't work, just make sure you copied your this names properly. So it will be progress. Then for the value, we will grab our health. So we've done the first, and then let's add next one. Well, in here it's Scala still. And then in here, brush. Okay, so always brush. Then Scala. And here, progress max. And for the value, max health. And that's it. So that should already work. So let's test it. And you can see this red around my screen starts to appear. And here we go. One thing I forgot to add. Oh, it's actually, yeah, it's fine. It works because I thought like maybe I need to reset in a binding that's set to 100. But yeah, it's automatically picks up and we don't need even to do anything. So here we go. It works. So instead, again, instead of maybe red, you can add different colors or maybe dark colors, anything what will work for you without even a uh, post-processing effect. So have fun. I would like to say thank you to my all supporters. I appreciate your support. Thank you for your generosity. You can join our growing Discord community where we like to discuss UFN tips and tricks, showcase our work and help each other. You can find link in the description or in the channel header. You can get project files on my Patreon or just buy me a coffee to support me. If you're interested in learning more about UFN materials, coding, widget UI and more, feel free to subscribe and click that bell icon to get notifications when new videos will be released. See you soon.